Public Safety Ad Hoc Committee update. Thank you. Good evening, Mayor and Council. I'm Francine Tornor, your Director of the Office of Public Safety Accountability. With National Night Out approaching this August the 4th, this is, gives me an opportunity to give an update for the city's public safety ad hoc. After national attention regarding the Ferguson, uh, Missouri incident, there was public outcry and Mayor Johnson decided to pull together the community to discuss some of the things that could take place to improve police and community relations. As a result of those meetings, Mayor and Council formed the city's public safety ad hoc commission, committee, excuse me, to move forward the mayor's Officer Next Door program. The vision behind Officer Next Door is to make Sacramento the safest big city in California and a model of community policing practices through the implementation of the following four pillars. Vice Mayor Warren was tasked to develop pillars one and two. Pillar one is training and is dedicated to making sure Sacramento police officers receive nationally recognized best practice training in community policing strategies. I accompanied the police management to Chicago to participate in a procedural justice and police legitimacy training course in policing strategies. I accompanied the police management to Chicago to participate in a procedural justice and police legitimacy training course in policing strategies. I accompanied the police management to Chicago to participate in a procedural justice and police legitimacy training course. OPSA is currently working with the department to develop our own training here in the city which will improve the relationship between officers and the community. Another training that the department has implemented is provided by nationally recognized export, expert Lori Friedel, and that is implicit bias training. Middle management and first line supervisors have already received their training and a schedule has been established to complete the training for the rest of the department over the next year. Pillar two, which is diversity, means that all levels of the police department needs to reflect the diversity of the city residents they serve. One way the police department is going to accomplish this is through the creation of a hiring pipeline where entry level positions have been made available for young adults in the community. The first 30 positions have already been filled and are local um, and has been filled by local uh, members of the community and it is 75% 75 75 diverse and their training will start on Monday. Council Member Jennings is overseeing Pillar 3, which is community engagement. Specifically, he has revitalized the Sacramento Gang Prevention and Intervention Task Force. Work has already been completed to identify resources in the community that's currently working with youth. There's a policy board meeting tomorrow here at City Hall at noon. And the purpose of that meeting is to discuss the path moving forward. Mayor Pro Tem Ashby is responsible for the final pillar, which is accountability. This pillar is to ensure that the police department is operating at the highest level of professional standards and it embraces transparency and accountability. In order to achieve this, police commission best practices for several cities were reviewed and a model was chosen that will best suit Sacramento. Based on what Mayor Pro Tem heard, we think that this will work to suit the community's needs. An ordinance for this new commission model will be coming forward to council consideration on August the 18th. Um, you have been given some booklets that goes into further detail about some of the information that I've provided tonight. And that completes my update. If you have any questions. Meeting. 